More than £15 billion has been raised by 208 companies on the UK stock market between the start of March and early July via share placings, open offers and rights issues. This is not normal behaviour. It's essentially the same amount as was raised in the whole of 2019 by more than 600 companies through the same methods of issuing new stock. The annual average amount between 2012 and 2019 was £7.4 billion, raised by 216 companies. So one of the key reasons why companies list on the stock market is to tap investors for cash, but these fundraisings tend to be done for acquisitions or to help clear debts. This year, many companies have gone cap in hand to investors to get cash simply to keep the lights on. The coronavirus pandemic is at the heart of this year's frequent share placings. City Pub Group was one of the first companies to tap shareholders for money just after the UK lockdown was imposed in March. It had been forced to close its pubs, yet still had debts to settle and rent to pay. At the time, it had no idea when pubs would reopen, so it asked shareholders to hand over cash in exchange for new shares so its balance sheet would have some support should its pubs stay closed for an extended period. Other companies have done share placings for similar reasons, including W. H. Smith, ASOS and Jim Group. Some companies were more desperate, such as airport and train station food seller SSP, which was forced to raise extra cash by issuing new shares as a condition of securing new bank borrowing facilities. The lenders ultimately wanted to pass on some of the risk to shareholders. At the same time as these rescue placings, we also saw a few companies ask shareholders to back them with new cash for more strategic reasons. Hotel Chocolat raised £22 million primarily to help grow the business, such as increasing production, distribution and warehouse capacity. It said the money would also act as a backup in case it was needed during the pandemic. Autotrader raised £186 million to strengthen its balance sheet during the crisis and give it a competitive advantage once the pandemic is over. It wants to be one of the first to pounce on opportunities in the immediate aftermath of the crisis, which might involve buying another company. Whitbread undertook a £1 billion rights issue where existing shareholders were able to buy heavily discounted stock to help strengthen the company's finances at a time when hotels were either closed or operating at very low occupancy rates. Now, What's interesting is the ease at which companies seem to have been able to raise new cash despite shareholders being diluted by more shares being issued. For some businesses, shareholders probably took the view that companies might not be able to get through the crisis without their financial support. Dilution was the price to pay to avoid the investment potentially becoming worthless in the future. In other situations, investors probably took a long-term view that strengthening balance sheets now could give a company more opportunities for growth in the future. In most cases, the fundraisings had been restricted to institutional investors. However, we're starting to see more companies let retail investors get involved in the offers. The downside is that these are a first-come, first-served and the retail offers are capped at €8 million Euros worth of stock under EU regulations. Some of them are filled within a matter of hours, leaving many investors frustrated because they found out about the offers too late. So if you don't want to miss out, why not set up an alert for companies in which you've got an interest, and you'll be emailed the latest news as it comes out. You can set this up on your AJ Bell Uinvest account under Analysis Tools. Shares Magazine's website also offers such a service, and it's free too. Thank you.